Welcome to the web-based training about mid-range plus system basis chips. You can find the buttons next, play again and pause in the navigation toolbar. Please note that there is a specific version of this training for distributors. Let's introduce you to the learning objectives. By the end of this training you will Know what an SBC is and Identify the mid-range plus SBC family main features. This training is structured into three sections. In the first section we will give you an overview on mid-range plus system basis chips and their applications. Then we will go through mid-range plus SBC's main features. Firstly, what is an SBC? SBC stands for System Basis Chip. This chip is an integrated device that combines common system features, which are typically needed on automotive electronic control units ECUs. These features are Voltage regulators for power supplies Communication interfaces with CAN or LIN transceivers Diagnostic and supervision functions such as watchdog or failsafe output and further supporting features like high side switches, wake inputs and others. You can take a closer look at some of these features on the general SBC training. You may now ask yourself, what is the advantage of using an SBC? Well, the answer to this question is quite easy, because it is a highly integrated system on chip solution with various substantial benefits. Now let us explore in which applications Infineon's SBCs usually can be found. An SBC can always be used in automotive ECUs where at least a communication interface and a power supply for the microcontroller is required. More specifically, you can find an SBC here. Onboard charger for electric vehicles. Memory seat modules. Body control modules, gear shifters, light control modules, roof, tailgate, trailer and closure modules, heating, ventilation and air conditioning, HVAC. Please note that other applications can be seen in the SBC general and specific product trainings. Now that we have a general understanding about SBCs, Let's focus on the mid-range plus SBC family of products. Let's begin with a general overview. There are three variants with different amount of transceivers, each offered as 5 volt or 3.3 volt output for the main voltage regulator. Moreover, all of them are also available with or without a CAN partial networking. The devices are featuring a small VQFN 48 pin package with a lead tip inspection feature, offering automatic optical inspection capability. It also has an exposed power pad for optimum thermal performance. Furthermore, hardware and software compatibility are given. This means that the same pinout, the same serial peripheral interface registers and bit mapping are ensured throughout the whole family. The fourth digit refers to the number of integrated transceivers. So 3 means it has 3 transceivers, 1 CAN FD plus 2 LIN. Then, minus 3 states the CAN partial networking functionality. The mid-range plus SBC features a state machine, which is integrated in all Infineon SBC families. At first there is the SBC init mode, to configure the device during startup. The SBC normal mode is the main operating mode, used to perform all activities during the ECU's active mode. Additionally, there are two low power modes available, the SBC stop and the SBC sleep mode. The SBC stop mode is the first level power saving mode with the main voltage regulator, VCC1, enabled, achieving less than 50 microamps of quiescent current. The SBC sleep mode is the second level power saving mode with VCC1 disabled, achieving less than 20 microamps. Furthermore, the failsafe mode is a safe state mode, 
after critical failures. For instance, watchdog failure or VCC1 under voltage reset to bring the system into a safe state and ensure a proper restart of the system. Lastly, the SBC has a restart mode, which becomes active after a wake event from SBC sleep or failsafe mode or directly after failure to ensure defined startup. Let's now understand the difference between VCC1 and VCC2. VCC1, being the main supply that typically drives the microcontroller, is available with 3.3 or 5 volt and supports 250 milliamps of output current. VCC2 can be used to supply the CAN cell or an offboard supply such as sensors or LEDs. The linear regulator offers 5 volt with 100 milliamps and is protected against short circuit to the automotive battery. The regulators have a fast load step response and only require small ceramic capacitors for stability and optimum dynamic behavior. Next we have the VCC3, which is an integrated regulation circuitry that controls an external power transistor. This allows a flexible current configuration and optimizes the temperature distribution. Depending on the variant, VCC3 can be either configured as 5V, 3.3V, or 1.8 volt supply. In the load sharing configuration, it can be used in balanced combination with VCC1 to offer higher supply currents or lower operating temperature. It is also protected against short to ground and to battery. The Midrange Plus SBC provides a state of the art CAN flexible data rate cell, which allows fast data transmission up to 5 megabits per second, according to ISO 11898-2-2016. It can also be used in standard CAN networks. It has an excellent EMC performance and is inside the limits of the IEC 62228-3 up to 5 megaboard. Please note that optional CAN partial networking is available to decrease the overall current consumption. The CAN cell is wake capable through the bus or dedicated wake sources. The LIN transceiver is a state-of-the-art physical layer LIN with excellent ESD gun and EMC robustness. It has wake capability via LIN and is compliant with LIN 2.2A with the latest ISO 17987 physical layer as well as with J2602. The four integrated high side switches with an on resistance of about 7 ohms can be used as LED and or sensor supply, supply for wake inputs and power switches in general. The high side switches can be used in parallel configuration to increase current capability. An individual thermal shutdown feature prevents excessive heat by turning off the switches respectively. Also, the open load detection provides information about malfunctions. The high side switches can be operated in combination with a 200 or 400 Hz PWM generator. The Midrange Plus SBC also features high voltage wake and monitoring inputs. It offers three edge sensitive high voltage wake inputs that are sensitive for both rising and falling edges offering two detection modes, static or cyclic sense. While static sense is permanently active, alternatively cyclic sense saves quiescent current by controlling the pin periodically. Note that the cyclic sense function can be used in normal, stop and sleep modes and can be configured with different timings. Alternatively, by using two of these pins, it is possible to monitor voltage such as the unbuffered battery voltage or other. The Serial Peripheral Interface, SPI, establishes the communication between the SBC and the microcontroller. It has 16-bit SPI frames with a 7-bit address, 1-bit for access control, read, write, clear, and 8-bit data in-frame response. Please be aware that the SBC configuration wizard a free graphical user interface 
is available online via the Infineon Toolbox. It enables an easy first usage and full access to all SBC features. The three failsafe outputs are activated either by a watchdog trigger failure, a short circuit or over voltage at the main supply, VCC1, or a thermal shutdown event. Simultaneously activated, each of them has different specific features. The failsafe output 1 provides a static output signal. Failsafe output 2 is a signal indicator toggling with 1.25 Hz and 50% duty cycle, whereas failsafe output 3 is pulsed with 110 Hz and a configurable duty cycle of 2, 5 or 10%. Keep in mind that failsafe output 2 and 3 pins can be configured alternatively as GPIO, wake input, low side or high side switch or test mode. In this training you have seen what an SBC is, where, why and how you can use an SBC and the different mid-range plus SBC features. You have now finished this training about system basis chips. If you need assistance on this topic, 